so. A heat pump system takes heat from an external energy source, such as the ground or water, and delivers it to a compressor inside a heat pump unit, which then upgrades it to deliver both heating and hot water to a property. Ground source heat pumps can take heat from three types of renewable sources, soil, rock and water. They do this by using collectors buried under the ground called arrays, which are made from buried pipework that absorbs the heat. A ground source heat pump is a really efficient system as it uses freely available stored heat energy, which naturally occurs through sunshine and rainfall and is regularly replenished. Temperatures below ground remain constant all year round, so the energy source is stable no matter the weather, season or time of day. There's a range of options we can use when installing the ground rays to collect the heat, and that would depend on the size of the land and its geology. So one of the first things that would happen is that we would calculate how much energy we require to heat the property and deliver hot water. We would do a ground survey to work out what lies underneath the land. It could be rock, soil, or a mixture of both, and there could be water down there too. Surface soil is usually an ideal energy source for properties in rural areas or any building with a fair amount of surrounding land, say 40 metres by 12 metres. We suggest digging long and shallow trenches for this type of property and laying the pipework at a depth of 1.2 metres. For places with much less land available, boreholes can be drilled deeper into the underlying rock. This is ideal for places like tower blocks, flats, businesses or regular homes with more limited garden space. We drill a borehole between 60 and 200 metres deep, but crucially it's only 150 millimetres in diameter, so about as wide as a saucer. It's a really discreet and compact solution when the priority is minimising the disruption to an existing house and garden. Water is the most efficient source of heat transfer and is suitable as an energy source for any property that lies within 100 metres of water or potentially further. The water sources could include lakes, ponds, rivers, the sea and even underground aquifers. Kenza have used all of these to provide heating and hot water to residents on all of the above and even boats. Of course there are fundamentally two parts to the system collecting the heat and delivering it through the home via the heat pump. The size of the heat pump required depends very much on the size of your home, how well it's been insulated. We can help with the sizing and design of your heat pump system to ensure that you are comfortably provided with ample heating and hot water. This isn't a technology that is only suitable for new build homes. It can be applied almost anywhere as Kenza have retrofitted many different types of properties from high-rise flats to listed buildings. Ground source heat pump systems are really efficient. Essentially, we measure this by comparing how much power the system needs to run and how much heat it creates. Ground source heat pumps can deliver three to four kilowatts of heat for every one kilowatt of electricity they use, which is a higher efficiency than any other heating system. A gas boiler typically runs at 85% efficiency, with a percentage of heat being wasted through the flue. Compare this with a ground source heat pump which runs anywhere from 300 to 450% efficiency with no wastage. It's really obvious why the technology is being adopted by self-builders and social housing developers. By its very nature, a ground source system is sustainable as the ground or water providing the heat energy is a renewable heat source. Ground source heating uses some electricity, which creates some emissions, but because there's no combustion, you're not burning anything within the system. The emission levels of a ground source heat pump are just 53 grams per kilowatt hour, which is a whopping 77% reduction on the equivalent gas system. So they really do help to reduce air pollution and CO2. As the electrical grid continues to rapidly decarbonize with the switch to renewable sources such as wind and solar farms, so does that small amount of electricity consumed by the ground source heat pump, meaning the heat pump you install today will emit fewer carbon emissions in the future. It's certainly a sustainable alternative to some short-term sticky plaster heating solutions such as hybrid systems. 
We believe that, much like cars, the future for heating is electrification, something that consumers are becoming much more comfortable and familiar with. The true cost benefits of installing a ground source system are realised over the long term. The cost of a ground source heat pump unit starts at around £3,800 for the Kenza shoebox and increased based on how much heat generating capacity you require from the heat pump. And as well as the unit itself, there is also the cost of groundwork and the installation. The project costs for this vary depending on the scale of the installation, the available land area and how energy efficient the property is. However, the savings start once the system is in place. It requires minimal electricity to run and can be easily set to run when electricity is at its cheapest using smart controls. This is called load shifting. Ground source heat pumps have a comparable running cost to gas and are much cheaper than other fossil fuel types like oil or LPG boilers. Ground source heat pumps require no annual servicing, so you can make savings there too. The system can be integrated with other green or cost-saving technologies, for example, using solar panels to either offset the electricity for the heat pump or assist with hot water production, which will cut your bills even further. For more information on ground source technology, visit homebuilding.co.uk and for great advice and ground source heat pump products, visit kenzaheatpumps.com.